So today, we're taking a peek at this. This is Peak Design's 25 liter outdoor backpack. Now, I have been a Peak Design lover for a long time. Their everyday backpack is and has been my favorite camera backpack and travel backpack. The backpack I use on a daily basis, that's the one I prefer. I really love it. And I've tried a lot of backpacks in my day. However, it's not something I would take to the outdoors. It's not something I go hiking with. It wouldn't be one that I would definitely take backpacking at all. So, Peak Design now has designed a set of outdoor packs. This one included, this is the 25 liter version. We're gonna take a peek at this guy now. Okay, folks, welcome back to Tech Gooch. And like I said, today, outdoor backpack from Peak Design. This is the 25 liter version. However, before we actually take it off my back and we look at all the good stuff that comes with it, I did wanna say about the fit. It is an extremely comfortable backpack to wear around. Now, the straps themselves have these really wide areas at the front that I thought, thought you know, it makes sense. Should take more of the, you know, pressure away and actually disperse it a little more. That's exactly what it does. Uh, it's not too big. And I did say, when I first saw them, I was wondering about these sternum straps, how much I'd like them. There are downsides to them in that they're not just a quick snap and off it goes. <laughs> hit the microphone. However, uh, they're really sturdy. And the thing I like about it so much is how adjustable they are. So you can see there are two and essentially they're kind of like ropes and they just, just like all the other Peak Design stuff, they grip onto the one side. And there are multiple fasten points up and down this, uh, each of the actual shoulder straps that you can place them on each side. And because there's two, you can tighten and loosen each one. And so you can kind of get, I mean, even right now I have them kind of parallel, right? I can even take this one and move it down uh, a little bit lower. And I'm hitting my microphone. But you can see now that it's actually got this V, but maybe there's something that I, I'm just, it's just tweaking me wrong and that might work better. And so the nice thing about it is you can do that. You can obviously do the other, same thing on the other side as well and keep them parallel if you want. But I just wanted to point that out. Same thing goes when you're done with it and you don't want to use the sternum straps. There are two pockets, one on each strap. And you actually take the sternum straps and jam them into the pocket over here. And now they're out of the way. They're not flopping around. Plenty of time when I don't want to use the sternum straps on my backpack and they're just flopping around in front of me. That's wonderful to get them out of the way. But obviously another benefit is this is a 16 Pro Max phone in one of those pockets. Plenty of storage space in here. So yeah, you can jam your cell phone in there. You can jam whatever you want in there. Candy bar, you know, well, I should say granola bar, right? But there's plenty of room in those uh, strap pockets. So now that I got that off my chest, let's get it off my back. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the pack itself. I kind of jammed a whole bunch of stuff in here and uh, I, I wouldn't have put my pot in there just like that, but it is uh, a little loose. I have in the two side sleeves here, I have a Nalgene. It's not full of water, but just to get the size out of it, right? We do have a Nalgene there, put that out of the way. And then on the other side, I also put my large Camp Geeks Yeti water bottle. So that guy was in that side. So now you can see on the outside, we have a really nice simplistic design. We're not gonna get caught in a bunch of stuff. We do have this one strap that's kind of hanging out, but that's the strap that you tighten everything down with. Not too bad. You can even jam that out of the way if you really wanted to, or you could just let it hang down. Um, this is really, I really like how clean it is. I really like that they kept it as clean as possible, just like their everyday packs, so that I don't have stuff all over it. But there are attachment points. So if you wanna attach something on the outside of this, you can do that. First of all, you have to get into the pack. So this little tab right here, if you pull on that, you'll see that it loose or basically pulls that strap out, and then you'll have this open. Now there is a pocket that you can actually jam stuff down in. Right now I don't have anything in there. But right now what's sitting in here, there's two of these straps, which just like the sternum strap, have basically our rope, you know, tensioners, right? So you can see that there's a loose side right there. 
and we can then on the outside of the pack over here grip on one side over here grip on another side over here as a demonstration of theory I guess more than anything else and now we can take that rope and if we had something on the outside of a pack we can crank that down and they're ready to go in there be, obviously if you're not going to use them then it's best to just take them back off come back in here stow them where they were and that way you don't lose them and they're just hanging out and so you can see there's two right here just ready to roll so that's pretty awesome you could also technically uh, use it on the top of the pack too so if you actually see there's some loops right here this this uh right here and then on the where it actually is so you could actually go over the top as well so it's very versatile on how many different anchor points we have to put stuff on here this is a roll top bag but obviously this was holding the roll top down now that we have this open we can unroll it and it has a magnetic opening really like that and of course because of the roll top we're not going to get any water in the main compartment of the bag open this guy up and you can see we can pull stuff out of here right so like a normal roll top bag we can reach in here pull out different items as we see fit however we're going to open it up a little bit different way i'm going to roll that back up set this back down and while i'm just take on this cord and pull it nice and tight and now i'm sealed back up again but if i flip the bag over you might notice and i have it off to the side zipper zip down this way zip up and over and across and now we can fillet the entire bag open to get to the entire components of the bag for an outdoor pack this thing is awesome it's really well designed really well thought out in here right now i have my sleeping bag i have my sleeping pad i have a two-person tent i have uh, technically a food bag i guess uh, with some stuff in it i have my little cook kit and my spoon is in my is in my food bag i have this kind of ready to go with a small thing obviously i have more room that i could put more stuff in clothing whatever you know more food things like that it's not a full like it's a, it's a day packers pack but i wanted to at least put some stuff in here that have some has some substance to it uh, to showcase what this thing can actually do so also if i close this back up you can see that there are anchor points on the back side too just like there's two more anchors right here that we can grab and these will actually uh, pull the bag or or loosen it up to give you more space inside so obviously once you get it packed you can take these and tension them down to basically grab onto all the stuff and get, keep the the backpack as tight as you can possibly make it there's just a lot of thought that went into this and thought is what i really appreciate now going back to the front of the pack right inside here there are zippered zones this one will be opening up we actually have a leash in here for our keys or something important right and uh, that can just go back in there and we can zip that closed if we go to the other side we also have another access uh, right in here as well so there's just plenty of pockets there's plenty of places to put things this thing was really really well thought out and uh, I kind of love it so on the back side back here there is a pouch for a hydration bladder and we just have a nice little velcro loop to hold the, the bladder in here but we do have a nice little shot cord loop here to tie the top of the bladder to so it doesn't keep falling down uh, so you go ahead and stash your hydration bladder in however you can actually they actually have routing for the hose even uh, thought in here so on the bottom down here there's a little hole that you, at the bottom of the hydration bladder you can route the hose out of the back pouch and in the bag itself then in here if i pull since i pulled some stuff out you can actually see there are these gray elastic loops these are what you would route the hose through uh, to keep the hose away from your your uh, your stuff in your bag and then at the very 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 top of the bag all the way up here there's this little slot that if you look on the outside you can route the hose either to the left or to the right and it has a little top on it to keep anything from going down into the bag and making its way into your stuff that's a good thoughtful process for that the bag does have that water resistance to it however it's not waterproof and anybody that's in the outdoors knows that if you really want to waterproof this you buy yourself a rain fly for your pack and peak design does offer a set of rain flies for their backpacks as well uh, they come in this nice pouch that's attached to the rain fly and just like any rain fly you essentially just 
hook it and put it over the pack. And then once it's over the pack, there is a quick cinch. And then you just gotta make sure that it's uh, all in its spot where it needs to be. Uh, there is even at the bottom of the rain uh, fly a drainage hole so water can't pool at the very bottom of the rain fly. It, it makes sense, right? And it's something that I've always had in the outdoors with all of my backpacks I've ever owned is a rain fly. And the nice thing is that the pouch that it comes in sewn to it. So you, you know what you're done, you just wrap it back up, jam it back into the pouch and you're good to go. So this is the 25 liter version. They also are offering a 45 liter version. So depending on how long of a trip you're taking, things like that, or what you prefer, uh, they, hover, they offer packing cubes if you wanna put cameras in these things, because obviously they are outdoor packs. So they don't have a whole lot of rigidity and padding to them that you typically would get with a camera pack. So you get a packing cube and then you can put your camera stuff gear in here. And the nice thing is you have that full open back flange to get into the gear um, very easily and rapidly. I am really liking this pack. It's really well designed. The fabrics, just like every Peak Design product, really well thought out. Now, these are on Kickstarter right now. As of today, they have 14 days left. And, uh, and then they're, uh, they'll be available on their website eventually. So right now, if you go through Kickstarter, you can get a good deal on them, 20% off on the packs. So this one retails at two, is gonna retail, I should say, at 250, and the 45 liter version is gonna retail at 330. So right now you can get this for 199, you can get the 45 liter for, I think, 265. Rainfly, you can get, uh, retails at 30, I think it's 24 bucks you can get this for right now, all through Kickstarter. I'm posting this video right away because I really want you to have a chance to get this if, if you're interested in it but at least check out their Kickstarter page because it's pretty awesome. So I'll put the links down in the description where you can head directly to see all of this stuff and as many links as I possibly can. They are offering a complete outdoor line of bags from these backpacks. They have slings, they have outdoor packing cubes. They really thought out there and I can only anticipate what's gonna come down the road, but I really like this little pack that I've already gotten, this 25 liter. So. Check it out, check out the Kickstarter page before it ends if you can, uh, if you're interested in getting a good deal on some of these really nice outdoor packs. And I love outdoor packs, I, yeah. I've been, I, I, have, I have enough of them in that closet right over there actually. Uh, but that said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, post a link, post, post a comment, hit me up at techgucci.com. Thank you for watching to the end of this video and like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll catch you again soon right here on Tech Gooch. Thanks for watching.